What if your computer's motherboard or power supply spoils and you have important data on your hard disk to retrieve? In this video, I will teach you guys very simple steps on how to retrieve data from your hard disk. But for this to work, you need a desktop computer. If you guys are interested, stay tuned and let's get started. If your computer spoils, maybe it's the power supply or the motherboard, but not the hard disk. Now in this case, what we can do is basically remove the hard disk from the current computer and plug it into another computer to make it work. Now for this particular method, you need a computer. It could be your friend's computer, a working one or anyone's computer. This is the method one and method two, you will need an adapter. But for this particular video, we will only use the method one. So first thing first, what we will do is if the hard disk is in the casing, remove it from the casing. Right, here it is. Now this is the hard disk. What we will do is basically we will connect this particular hard disk to another computer to retrieve the data from it. How it's done, I'll show you guys in a short while. So let's get started. First, I have this desktop computer. I'm going to remove the casing of this one. So let me put this one aside, right? And let's remove the casing. All right, guys, you can see the computer is running at the moment. It's turned on. And these are the, this is, and this is the current computer hard disk, which the cable, SATA cable is already connected to it. So first thing we'll do is turn off the computer. Okay, we can see the computer is completely turned on. Before we do anything, we'll make sure to unplug the power cable. So unplug the power cable from the desktop. The next thing we will do is basically remove the SATA cable from the current hard disk. Now this is the hard disk that is connected to this computer. So from here, we will need to unplug these two cables. These are the SATA cables, 15 pin and seven pin and we will plug it with our hard disk that we would like to retrieve the data. So what we will do is unplug. This is the seven pin and this is the 15 pin. All right, we have done this part. Now what we'll do is I'll bring up the hard disk that we want to retrieve the data from it and connect the cables over here. All right, guys, these two cables are connected. One is the one is to power the hard disk. Second one is to transfer the data. So the motherboard can read data from this particular hard disk. Now, remember, I removed the cables from here and I've connected it over here. Now make sure there is no cable is close to this particular fan. So there's no destruction to it. What we will do is now I think we are safe. We will plug back the cable, the power cable. All right, it's connected. And we will turn on the computer. Okay, we can see the fan is spinning. And here we go. Now this is the hard disk that we want to retrieve the data. Press F1 to continue. Hola, we can already see the Windows logo and it's loading. That's a good news because that means the hard disk is perfectly fine and is working well. So the next step, what we will do is wait for it to load and key in our username and password and see if it works, then we will transfer the data to an external hard disk and then we can plug back the existing hard disk. 
all right guys we can see this is a windows 10 operating system and the previous operating system that was connected to the desktop itself was windows 7 all right we key in the password and enter wonderful we can see that we have unlocked the hard disk and we can basically the operating system from the hard disk itself is running and from here we can basically connect an external hard disk and recover the data from this computer now i believe it's simple and straightforward let's assume if you have already uh, connected an hard disk and retrieved your data or transfer your data to an external hard disk once it's done now let's assume you have completed the data transfer so the next step we will shut down the computer all right we can see the computer was working perfectly fine no issue at all let's wait for the fan to stop then we will unplug these two cables and plug it back to here so this is very easy and simple way basically you can plug in the SATA cable to the hard disk and retrieve your data and plug the cables back we can see the fan is already stopped so I will unplug these two cables at this stage we have recovered the data and we are put it back over here connect the 15 pin this is the data cable connect the 7 pin right once these two are done turn on the computer again to make sure the existing hard disk is working the current one all right the fans are spinning let's look at the monitor okay we can see windows starting this is windows 7 previously the hard disk that we recovered the data was windows 10 so it's working perfectly fine all right guys hopefully this video help you if it does give this video thumbs up and subscribe to our channel i'm your host vessel talk to you in the next one